Captain Rowan Vardy with three tries. The McQueen brothers had plenty of structure and direction. And it's a welcome return to the 25-year-old Keith Robinson, who was red-carded last week in Hong Kong. Glorious conditions here in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Much better than what we experienced some 24 hours ago. The next word comments with me is uh, former All Black Simon Mannix. And Simon, we've seen just from that first game, the quality of the football has certainly improved. Well, like the weather indeed, Willie, and it's going to have a, you know, had a big impact on the quality that we did see yesterday. But today, a firm track, the sun is out, and the players, well, you know, really it's psychologically, it does make a huge difference. A very, very difficult sevens conditions yesterday. And, Credit to all players involved that they maintain their concentration during those conditions. But today it's going to be about free running rugby and uh, if the opening game's anything to go by, we're in for a good day. Jason Jaffer from uh, South Africa to control his 57th match. And there are the Russians in their white strip. Hong Kong in their traditional blue and red. Well, Hong Kong yesterday losing to Australia and New Zealand. Also to the USA in the last moments of that game by 21 points to 19. One of the smallest men on the field, Jan Yushkin, gets us underway. First possession with Hong Kong taken in through Haynes. Robertson with his first touch out to Captain Rowan Vardy. This is Yu Kam Shing and on the left flank. He showed tremendous pace in Hong Kong some seven days ago. Good structure earlier on from Hong Kong, prepared to allow the ball to do the work, moving it from one side of the field and then to the other. This is Kwok Ka Chun, 26-year-old fireman. Russia desperate to try and tie the ball up. Haynes, McQueen, Robertson. Looking good, ball in hand, as is Yu Kam Shing. Clean pair of heels from Shing. Good defensive tackle coming in from Jan Yushkin. Good accurate passing by the Hong Kong side. They're really stretching. Unfortunately, the breakdown being penalised for holding on. Promising opening from Hong Kong. And here's Jan Yushkin, the man that made that tackle to deny Hong Kong the chance of getting their first points in the match. Ostroshko, he's so big and strong. Fends off the first defender. Won't have the pace to go the length. Support on the inside. Pet off. Now they throw the ball back 30 metres. It's been knocked back by Haynes, but uh, earlier infringement by Hong Kong. Ostroshko, he's been one of the standout players for the Russians. Ostroshko's played very well, has a very powerful player. We just see here the knock on back, and uh, it was general play, so there's no offside line set because we didn't have a ruck. So the Hong Kong players were able to take up that situation high up the field, and Robertson, with his intelligence there, albeit a knock on, he, he cut off what was a, looming to be a dangerous play for the Russians out on this left hand side. And the Russians yesterday against Wales lost 10 7. They were very competitive in that match, 22 0 against Argentina. And then they lost, oh, they won their last match, rather, against Kenya in a spirited effort of 26 points to 17. So the Russians saving their best for last in the evening. Zabzorskin, Petov. Good ball movements from both teams early on day two here in Tokyo. Ostroshko, two tries yesterday in that victory against Kenya. Good patience shown here, Perov, he's one of their standout players, well. he's been ripped away. Clean break here from the Queen. Now they push it out wide. Yu Kam Shing. Seems to be getting better and better with every game, as is Captain Ron Vardy. Here's Robertson. Robertson with plenty of space and options out to his left. Three on two situation. McQueen. Good patient build up by Hong Kong. Jones was there as was Robertson. Vardy now spots the spaces out wide here to Kachun. The two Chinese players connect. And just taken out of the touch is Yu Kam Shing. 
Well, I think the Russians, they won't want to play this one quickly. That's been a, a, a damaging passage of play for both sides there, going from end to end. The Russians show tremendous character, though, in their defense, aren't they? Covering across very quickly. The organization and the width that Hong Kong put on the game is really going to test this Russian side. Because, uh, you know, most people will feel, most experts of the game and will tell you Hong Kong, one of the better coached and one of the more organized sides on the circuit. And uh, certainly their culture of sevens rugby, you can see in the organization here, they're really putting uh, Russia to the sword. So Plikovic seemed to be the man that uh, didn't recover too well from that. So good lineups and good set piece. Jan Yushkin says, let's use the elements and also try and get the ball down into the opposition half. Good kick. Zabzorskin, has he got the pace? No, good tackle there from Sheng. Good contest from both sides. Yeah, very good. The option was very good as well, but Sheng did extremely well there for Hong Kong. Got turned, getting on the outside there. Zabzorskin does well, but that's a wonderful cover tackle. That's what you want to do. You've got to bundle that player into touch. Reset, go from the set piece. Well, it's a tight game, isn't it, at this stage? It's hard to call which way it's going to go because no one really threatening to make that break. There you go, Russia contesting. Goroshilov getting up nice and high. Jan Yushkin into contact with the ball. Now comes back inside of the Russians. Patient build up here. Goroshilov, the man that uh, won the line out. You can see Robertson. In fact, it was Varty, number nine for Hong Kong, trying to burrow his way in there to get possession in the turnover. Now the accelerator gets put on by Pitoff. Here's Ostroshko yet again. Been involved a lot in the opening five minutes of this game. Vladimir Ostroshko. The show and the go. Kutsushev. Jan Yushkin. It's been knocked forward there. They'll come back for the scrum. Well, Simon, they say on, on, in, in triathletes, as we have a look at uh, Henry Paul, the Russian head coach there, they say in the, in the sport of triathlon that uh, you run for dough, you swim and bike for show. So today's the money day, isn't it? Second day. Today it's all about, isn't it? It's about you, you really want to position yourself for so many reasons for these countries. And I think for Russia, it's about a continuation on uh, what they did in that last game last night, where I thought they were quite outstanding. They're not a team that's going to beat you for pace. They're going to try and beat you with power. And that's what they're trying to put on this uh, Hong Kong side, is take the phys that physical side of the game to them. Dimitri Piotr, Pitoff with the ball in hand now. They're getting so much better, a better understanding. I think that Henry Paul's doing a very good job with them. And here's Simplikovic. He was outstanding last night. He's opened the account for Russia. Denis Simplikovic thought where he was going to be injured a little bit earlier on, but he just managed to get outside of the marker. And finally, Russia are on the board. We, we spoke about this the, the great performance last night, and this guy was one of the key guys to a Simplikovic, and here he is. Uh, we talk about his power. Just physically, these guys are pretty impressive athletes, and they did very well. Coming from a set piece, there wasn't a lot on uh, when, the, when the play switched back, but he finished it beautifully, and that's a well-taken try, and just at once again, example of the power of this Russian side. And you, you spoke about the, the understanding that they have about the space awareness and I think Henry Ball has really added to this Russian side and uh, obviously the Russian Federation they're making wanting to make a real go of sevens rugby which is uh, you know with the quality of these athletes you can see why there he is he was a member of the Russian squad in New Zealand last year for the Rugby World Cup his second tournament really is making every post a winner as well as we head into the last seconds of this the first half at the HSBC sevens World Series Hong Kong now can they score a vital try just before the break? Vardy inside to Robinson. Ostroshko comes in with a massive hit. Once again, that physicality. Incorrect entry, though. Back to his feet very quickly is Robinson. Chun. McQueen. Here's Jones. Lee Jones, the uh, Hamilton-born Kiwi. Now flying his trade in uh, Hong Kong. This would be the perfect way to end for Hong Kong to score a try. And to level things up, Haynes, Anthony Haynes, the big, hard-working forward, takes it inside the Russian 22. Sheng clears it. Lovely line alignment for Hong Kong, looking now to change through Robertson. Robertson brings it back to Sheng. Sheng puts the accelerator down. Good support again, two on one. They should score here. Well, Vardy maybe gave the pass a little bit early. Haynes, desperate now, to try and get on the score sheet. 
Russia aggressive at the breakdown and have done enough. Superb defence, Russia, and you know, uh, epitomises the spirit that they've showed here in the first half. They're battling for each other. They know they're up against a team with more speed, and they go into the break with a well-deserved lead. Well, good play from both teams. The quality of the football, you can't criticise here on day two. Simplikovic is the try scorer, Young Ostroshko also being prominent. And as we head to Oranges, Russia lead Hong Kong by 5 to 0. Let's listen in to uh, the Hong Kong coach, Dai Reis. Both teams are going about the Monoga pass. Monoga pass. Okay, Bielma. Okay, problem. Monoga, Monoga, Monoga. Hong Kong intercept. So, Adenpa, Bar pass. Bielma. Three minutes, he's going to count. I'm taking that Monoga means don't pass. I'm pretty sure, Henry, it's all about one trick, one stuff. He told me it was very difficult, the communication with these guys. Obviously, he's got to work with the interpreter full time as well. But, uh, Good to hear he's picked up a couple of words at this time with the Russian side. How, how did you find that? Did you, did, you, did you have a good understanding of French before you started coaching or were you using an interpreter really wrong? No, it's, it's, it's one I think, I think rugby's a common language, isn't it? That, you know, guys understand. You get your message across no matter what language. And uh, in English, we've got a few more words we can chuck in which help as well. Come on! Well, there you heard there is going to be a swap. So uh, Shing possibly will be replaced by Tom McQueen, who uh, they used effectively in Hong Kong. Both teams bitterly disappointed to have missed out on the qualification to become a core team in 2013 last week. Glorious conditions here and a very good crowd has turned out on day two. No speaking with the organisers, they had said that they had sold between 15 and 20,000 over the two days and well, only the brave would have stuck around yesterday. Robertson gets us underway for the second half of this match. Match 26, day two here in Tokyo at the HSBC 7th World Series pit off. Well, it's an option we don't see too often. And that's why we don't see it too often. Not a great option, is it? You know, I can understand it when you've got the likes of real speedsters on the outside with a team not employing a sweeper. But that's not what the Russian sevens, their sevens approach is about, is it? And, you know, Henry Paul, he gave the message at half time. He just wanted the guys really taking it to the Tongan line, and uh, to the Hong Kong line, rather, and straight away kicked it to touch opportunity for Hong Kong. Well, they're giving position away. This is McQueen, who now feeds out Kachun Robertson, who's been active since he's been on the field. This is McQueen, the replacement that they've called on. Tom McQueen, brother of Alex. Big defence coming in from Russia, but still Hong Kong in control through Robertson Vardy. This is the other McQueen. Alex goes into contact. Kachun is there as well. And Russia up offside. Quick penalty here for Hong Kong. The quick tap is taken. Robertson, Vardy, Haynes. Jan Yushkin, the smallest Russian on the field, and he's done very well to dislodge the ball, but they're not back 10. Well, I think for Hong Kong, the key is this man with the ball in his hand is Robinson. The more he touches the ball, the more likely they are to create something. So he's got to get his hands on the ball. Two playmakers are Alex McQueen and also Anthony Haynes. So McQueen with ball in hand from a set piece, five metres out from the Russian line. Let's see whether they've got it worked well this is Jones Lee Jones McQueen comes back on the cut looking for his brother who had actually come inside now he fends and feeds and scores good try to Alex McQueen well you'd like to think there was some brotherly understanding going on there but certainly wasn't the case the two of them were on completely different song sheets there but Alex did very well here as his brother Tom should have stayed out and held, his, uh, held out on the wing here hold the space but he's tracked in following the ball guilty of ball following but here it is well Thankfully, his brother had did all the hard work there to get over the line there. And uh, Alex McQueen, well taken try. And this one here for the lead. That's Robertson and unsuccessful. Goroshilov and also Alexander Jan Yushkin guilty there of basically ball watching. And then when being asked to make the tackle, just falling off it. So what a game we've got in progress here. Four and a half remain. We're all tied up, five apiece. 
You've got to be aware of the space around you. Just look after your space. And I know there's a real, you know, that tendency to try and watch the ball. You're desperate in your line, but it's having confidence in the players around you. And so the kickoff, all important now. Possession is everything, and that's a lovely weighted kick from Robertson. Climbing high for Russia. Kostyshev, he brings it down brilliantly. Ostroshko, Pirov. Now they take the, uh, the direct route through Gelanowski. Another young, young player and uh, replacement on for the field for the second half. That's Armour, Ross Armour in jersey number three for Hong Kong. He's just come onto the field. This is a good break here by Russia. Ostroshko is the man. He's got plenty of pace. Has Vladimir Ostroshko. 46 try in 13 tournaments and none better than now. That's just individual brilliance, breaking the line and then the acceleration. Well, Atosco, you called him in the first half, Willie. You said one of the key guys to it. He'd been active, hadn't he, in the first half. Henry Ball asked at halftime, he said, look, guys, we've just got to go at them. And here we go, straight at them, straight power. And you're going to, they're going to win these one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one situations against the smaller, less physical, uh, physical nature of the Hong Kong side. And there it is, Ostro, just, just too strong in that tackle area. Once that duel is won, then anything's possible. When you can break that first line, it's all open. And it only took one tackle, and he ran it in from 65. Well played. Yeah, Anthony Haynes, the man guilty. Won't be wanting to watch that on the replay. Number four for Hong Kong. Gave him the opportunity with the uh, with the, the inside shoulder there and missed the tackle. They lead by seven. The conversion was good from Jan Yushkin, and that's another example of great play and quality athleticism by the Hong Kong team at the kickoff. Robertson, Vardy getting it wide to Tom McQueen, who's just come on the field. He's got Jan Yushkin, and he's done it like he did it. Inside out, McQueen down the sideline. His brother scored the first, he scored the second. Hong Kong are back. Contrast to Styles here. We've spoken about the physical approach that uh, Russia wanted to bring to it with Ostrov when they scored his try. Look at this, Robinson, beautiful hands. Then they put him on the outside, McQueen. Just too quick. Just too quick there. And Yanskin, well, nothing he could do about it. McQueen, great finish, but just manipulating the ball, finding the mismatches in the line. Aware where the weak player was in the defensive line, and Yoshkin, well, he's not the biggest guy. Conversion to beautifully struck kick to tie up the scores. Uh, the crowd enjoying the quality of rugby that we've been served here in early morning here in the Tokyo, Japan. That'll put a smile on the face of Dai Reese. 12 apiece. Quality. The kickoffs have been accurate, the ball taking's been good, and also the ball movement right throughout the whole first and second half. 90 seconds remain, this is crucial. Brilliantly taken, good way to kick as well. Kotrashev trying to push off the tackle of uh, Kok Kao Chun. Hong Kong are just falling off a few too many tackles for my liking at the moment. This will play into their hands. Well, the grubber kick puts through and it looks like it's going to beat all of them. Out into touch. Could be a Hong Kong feed, no. Russian, the last person to play it, Galinovsky. Could be heading into extra time as well. Well, that's going to be a test on the physical capacity of both sides because they've given plenty here this morning. I'm just a bit concerned about uh, Hong Kong because they're out warming up about an hour and a half before <laughs> kickoff, and uh, I hope they've got something left in the tank. Yeah, you mentioned that. You, you weren't big on the warm-ups, were you? Uh, no, not one of my strong points, Willie. Really. <laughs> now they move it out to the try scorer McQueen. Can he go all the way? Good defence there from Zablorskin. Now Armour. Hong Kong, patient build-up, looking for the mismatches, good ball movement as well. Quite catch on. This is the other McQueen, Alex, who scored the first try out on the left flank. Russia desperate now to try and get their hands on the ball. Hong Kong are holding the whip beautifully out to this right-hand side. Can they use the space correctly? Good passes as well. That's Armour to Robinson. Robinson to Tom McQueen. McQueen back in on the inside, reaching out and scoring. That's the winner. Beautifully played Hong Kong. Side to side rugby, large, wide, wide, very well played. They held their width. We spoke about the organisation amongst this team, how well coached they are, how well organised. But on this occasion, in the three on two, they used the space very well. And McQueen did well at the end to finish it. Well, he's a super sub. Look at Di Reese. The emotion is there. He's brought him on in the second half and he's asked him to finish. And that's exactly what he's done, Tom McQueen. Two tries in seven minutes. Robertson did so well. Zabzorskin couldn't hold on, he just reached out there, that's a wonderful try. It's been the McQueen Show, 
And here's Robertson trying to add more injury to insult for the Russians. Unfortunate on that occasion. Terrific game of sevens rugby. Hong Kong victorious. Hong Kong winning this match 17 points to 12. Well,